Hello guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you are doing okay. Before we jump to the main video today, I would like to let you know that I released a new app called Logo Quiz, which is like any other Logo Quiz games that you've played, but I did my own version and you can find it in the App Store and in the description below you can check it out. Let me know what you think and I hope you enjoy it. Now let's jump into the main uh, content today. I'm gonna introduce you to Fastlane. Uh, a lot of developers, especially mobile developers, we waste a lot of time to create uh, screenshots for our apps, uh, run tests, uh, fighting provisioning profiles, it is a nightmare, and many many more like building and deploying to test flight. Well, Fastlane has automated all this process for us and you can take advantage of it because it will save you tons and tons of hours. So. If you jump into uh, fastlane.tools, which I have open right here, uh, you will see automation done right. You will see that uh, almost 10 million hours, developer hours, are saved. Well, you, you should start saving your hours as well. Now, uh, if you go a bit further, you will see an example of what fastlane can do. Uh, it can scan, which scan means it runs tests for you take snapshots which will create screenshots uh, for your app store and then uh, deploy tests or uh, make scan which means uh, again it will run the test pilot it which means it will uh, upload it to itunes connect it will inform your slack team that uh, it's already in itunes connect and it will deploy it to test flight automatically without you doing anything just type one line of code and that's it in the terminal you can go home and you uh, let wor you, you let Fastlane worry about it. Also, you can see it will easily deploy to App Store by doing uh, your test, running uh, the uh, screenshots, signing the provisioning profiles, building uh, uh, the project, and delivering to App Store. Pretty, pretty simple. You don't have to go to iTunes Connect to create uh, those new projects you know you will have to add the app version what features it has on you know to produce this uh, content fastlink can do everything for you well uh, since fastlink can do so many stuff you will see here you can meet uh, the fastlink family uh, i cannot cover all this in this video but what i will cover uh, something that i've seen a lot of developers uh, developers struggling and also you guys have asked me a lot about it is provisioning profiles and uh, signing certificates well uh, we have cert for this one for automatically create and maintain ios code signing certificates and also uh, sign which is gonna be the provisioning profiles because as it fastlane says you would rather spend your time building stuff than fighting provisioning and that is very true. Um, and I did find provisioning profiles annoying, but with Fastlane, everything becomes super easy. You don't have to go to the developer portal and have to create app IDs and everything. Fastlane can do everything for you. So let's go and uh, try Fastlane, right? You will want to go to get started on the top of the page. And in here, you will, uh, it will open Fabric and you will like to choose your platform which is ios and then choose your beta service where you is gonna uh, where you're gonna deploy your um, beta app and for me it's always test flight if you guys use any of those two you can use uh, them and then you can make a fast lane to do even more you can let uh, your slack team know that uh, whatever you've done is uh, already done uh, Hipchat, I don't know what is it, IFTT, I don't know, Cocopods, I don't know exactly what it does. You can uh, Google it, uh, all that, and also increment your build number, which is pretty obvious, and I'm gonna uh, select that one. So I would like Fastlane to increment the build number for me because I'm too lazy to go to my project and change that build number myself. And then you would like to go and download your fast file. Well, I've already downloaded with those configurations for me and I can find it right here. And if you open it, you will see that there are a few things. It's the app file, fast file, and the installer. Well, if you don't have a um, fast lane, you would like to open the installer and press the install uh, in there and it will install fast lane for you. But since I already have it, I don't need to do that. 
Well, what is left to do for us now is to create a project and go and try this out. So let's go and run Xcode and try and see this. Create a new Xcode project and single view application. I'm gonna call it fast L like this and create next. Create it in my desktop. All right, now I'm gonna uh, disable the automatic manage uh, signing. All right. And now you will see that here I don't have any uh, provisioning profiles uh, that I have created, right? And also my bundle identifier is com.nunev.fastl. You need your bundle identifier and you will see in a bit why. Right now you want to open the uh, project right here, the project folder and you want to drag fast lane in there. So where is my fast lane? It's right here. All right, so I'm just gonna drop those files in here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna open my terminal. Actually, before that, let's go and open fast file. Um, I'm gonna use sublime, sublime text. And in here, I hope you guys can see. All right, like this. I hope you can see. Uh, well, it says our Fastlane version, the generated Fastlane uh, ID, and the default platform is iOS. And what we want to do here, we have a lane called uh, beta. Uh, what does it do? If you uncomment this, it will increment your build number and it will uh, build to build your project with App Store configuration, export method. And then pilot means it will upload to test flight. It's uh, everything with comments in there that comes uh, out of the box like this with fast fa uh, fast claim. And what's keep waiting for building processing uh, it means is like when you upload to iTunes Connect, you will have to wait for the build to finish processing. Well, you this with this one you can skip uh, waiting. You can just uh, wait for your email. And if you do beta, that all you have to do. Your app will appear on test flight in no time well <clears throat> now i would like to create a new lane called code sign all right and that code sign will do what will do it will do cert and also uh sci uh you can also uh, have some uh parameters in there for example on sci you want to Force if it doesn't download if it doesn't find anything it will uh, create them for you so force is true uh, because it will ask for your Apple ID you can easily give a username username and you will enter your Apple ID and same for uh, cert you would like to use a username. All right, and then you want to end if end actually, and um, that's what we're gonna have right now. So cert will go and create uh, certificates for us, and sign sign not sign sign will uh, create the provisioning profiles for us, and it needs your username uh, to go and grab them. Now. We will encounter an error and we will go and see what this error is right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna save this close it and open my terminal and go to my project folder which is in desktop and fast l all right in here i want to do ls and you will see i have my fast file there so i'm just gonna say fast lane lanes and this will go and check uh, what fast file lanes are there so it checks and says could not find a fast lane in current directory make sure you have your fast lane configuration fast inside file called fast lane would you like to set up fast lane no all right so basically we need a file here oops new folder called fast called fast lane all right, and then drag your uh, files 
past files in there. All right, and let's go and do the same again. Fastlane lanes. And uh, we encountered uh, some errors. Yes, uh, my my uh, fast file, my username, my username has to be in quotes. So I'm gonna save this, quit, and go and try again. Uh, terminal again, um, cd desktop fast l, and then fast lane lanes. All right, you will see that we have fast lane beta and code sign, right? Um, let's go and try to do our code sign. So fast lane code sign, and let's see what this does. It starts logging in with my user and it logged in successfully because my password is saved. It starts logging with my username again. And now it says, do not be asked about this value. You can specify it using app identifier for my sign. So basically, uh, cert start running. It says starting logging with my username, uh, successful login, found the certificate in which is installed in the local machine using this one verifying the certificate is properly uh, installed, successfully installed certificate, use signing certificate from now on. And then it runs SI. And SI says there's an app identifier. And since you're gonna be calling code SI uh, many, many times maybe, hopefully not, but you don't want to uh, have the app identifier uh, popping up always in your terminal, you can open the fast file again and specify that so in here you say app identifier which is like this right uh, underscore underscore app identifier is com dot nunef dot fast l and you need comma here well, that's our app identifier, so we save it and I'm going to cancel this one and let's run it again. Fastlane code sign. So it runs a cert again, it tries to log in, successfully logged in, found the certificate using this one, code sign, fetching, okay. And here it says, trying to fetch uh, profiles, no existing profiles found that match the certificates that you installed locally creating a new provisioning profile for you could not find app id in the ba uh, with bundle identifier well it checked in my uh, uh, portal about this identifier and there is that one does not exist so it says use fastlane produce with the username and the uh, identifier and then you can skip itunes connect so i'm just gonna run this line copy copy and paste and run it and it will see that it goes to produce and it asks me for an app name and I'll call it fast lane test whatever you want to call your app and it will create this in the uh, dev center and that's it now I can run my fast lane code sign easily Okay, it does the cert again. We know that this will uh, succeed. And then it will run the SI right now. It starts logging in with my username as again. It, fetch, it starts fetching the profiles, no existing profiles found. So it will start creating ones for us. And downloading, the, it created, it downloaded and it installed them successfully. And it fastly and finished successfully. Now, I can go to my project and I will see in the signing, if I go to release, uh, I will see the com.nunev.fastl uh, app store. Now, it, at first it was saying ineligible. I don't know why it was saying ineligible, but as you can see, after I selected it, it became eligible. So you there's some uh, problem with uh, Xcode, I suppose. 
so you can just select it and you can see the signing certificate is my iPhone distribution uh, and the same one for this one and I didn't have to go through all this uh, trouble with iTunes Connect, the Dev, uh, Apple Dev Center uh, and losing my mind uh, how to create app IDs, how to cre create certificates, then provisioning profiles. It takes hours to get uh, your head around. But with this, with five minutes, with a couple of lines uh, uh, that we wrote in Ruby and then running one command in terminal, it's all done. And you set it up and that's gonna be uh, forever there for your project uh, to go and create certificates and uh, download the latest provisioning profiles. So you don't have to worry anymore. You spent uh, five minutes building this and uh, that's it. And you can do uh, with the other uh, things that Fastlane can do like uh, creating your uh, snapshots, like the sc uh, uh, screenshots for your apps. If you make an uh, UI uh, redesign on your app, you don't want to go automatically and download all those uh, pictures for all those devices. Snapshot can do it for you no matter uh, how you change your UI. Even the little bit that you will do, Snapshot is there to cover for you. So. Just read the documentation. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more about uh, Fastlane, if you would like to see any other uh, Fastlane family uh, in the channel. And I'm gonna uh, do this for you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I saved a bit of your time uh, right now with uh, what you learned. And once again, don't forget to check out my app, the Logo Quiz app, which is in the App Store. In the description below, you can find the link. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.